Classroom Sessions. Hello, Hello beautiful beings, thank you so much for joining us on Grassroots Sessions today mm. and uh, thank you so much to all of our amazing patrons for making these videos possible. If you'd like to become a patron of our channel then please check out the link below and if you enjoyed today's song then feel free to pop a quid in our virtual hat via the link below as well. 
and um, today's song is called why do we grow and we're here at the resting place of our beautiful firstborn son Jemai and this is where his body lays in the earth on sacred ground in mm. sacred Lancashire mm -hmm. um, yeah so we decided to share that song here today because mm. we was coming to visit because our boy would have been five yesterday mm. so uh, yeah it was really nice to come and be here at this mm. beautiful beautiful place yeah and uh, our son Zaya um, as has been asking us some beautiful questions mm -hmm. about his brother who yeah. never got a chance to meet yeah. but we told him um, well we told him it was Jemai's birthday and he yeah. said he said I want to hug him which is really sweet mm -hmm. and I said me too and then he said where is he so I said yeah. yeah it's hard to know what to answer with these questions I said he's everywhere he's within he's, he's within all of us and then we told him it was coming here to Jemai's garden and that um, Jemai's garden is on sacred land. Like, it, it, I do wonder what he must think of it all, but he's just so mm. innocent and sweet that he's been having a lovely day mm. running around the land. And um, yeah, so that song originally, Why Do We Grow, was um, written for a beautiful friend of ours called Milda, wasn't mm. it? A beautiful friend who unfortunately passed away yeah. while we were all at university. Um, and it was just such a shock and um, an mm. unexpected happening. It was a car accident. And um, the whole song was about why why do we grow and then we die? You know, what is the point of all of this? And uh, because mm. we met Milda's parents who came um, to see all of her university friends and they were obviously distraught. I just, from the perspective of mm. those guys who watched their little girl grow mm. and like just the feeling of why do we grow if mm. we're, if we're all so temporary. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah, where the song came from. she was only through. 18, wasn't she? Yeah, she was a young girl yeah. and far too soon. But mm. then that was before we'd ever made Gemini and then we mm. reflect now upon it and our Gemini only got 10 months, didn't he? It is a, um, a crazy temporary world mm. that we're all living in. Yeah. And that's definitely what inspired the song. And then, obviously, after what we went through, I dedicated the song to Jemai, and I mm. sing Jemai's name now. Well, Jemai was there's an interesting chronology because Jemai was uh, conceived um, not long after Milda yeah. went to spirit, and then Zaya was conceived not long after Jemai went to spirit. Yeah. And um, yeah, we, she was a profound friend, mm -hmm. Milda, wasn't she? Yeah. Really like pagan wiccan yeah. sort of witch yeah. beautiful magical like yeah. uh, musical being wasn't she yeah. and when we first started hosting hemp redemption in preston I think she was a in few videos yeah there is she yeah. was like an incredible yeah. energy in the center of that wasn't she, yeah, she was just creating new songs and melodies out of nowhere yeah. and it was such a shock to all the beautiful planet community yeah it was and really then, a sad time yeah and then for for then Gemini to go back to spirit I less know. than two years later yeah the grief just 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 pa tra passed through really didn't it yeah and um yeah we sang really that song, our grief. Sang that song at his funeral didn't yeah. we yeah yeah it's a song For um Jemai. that just sort of came through out of the grief yeah yeah, yeah we sang it all at brock Holes when that's we had right. the family gather yeah 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 it was a strange oh, gathering right. really at Gemini's uh, memorial because yeah. um we did the burial here on this land with our family and yeah. we all stood in a circle and uh we're on we sacred land in yeah, Lancashire aren't we? We didn't have any sort of conventional um ceremony, we didn't have a priest no. or anything like this. We just basically held yeah. a sacred object and passed it around the circle and mm. if anyone wanted to speak then they could and if people wanted to pass on that was fine as well. Mm. And it was a beautiful sunny day, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. and we captured some of it on film actually and yeah. um and it's in the you music can see video it to for the beat. The beat. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, and then his memorial was at a nature reserve, and that mm. was more of a conventional type of funeral style. But we still didn't yeah. have any sort of what do they call the person that does that um, talking? There's a name for them, isn't there? Someone who holds the service is usually mm. a priest or a priestess or something. Anyway, mm. once again, we just sort of said our words, and um, it was. Um, you would normally go for a funeral director, wouldn't you? That's and right. we, we just decided we would do it all ourselves. So yeah. we dug this grave. Yeah, we dug it ourselves. And, and we, we, we held space here for our family to pass around the stone and to share their words yeah. on it. Yeah. And some of our family said it was the most beautiful day they'd been to in years. Well, that was another thing I was going to yeah. say, actually, is that our memorial for Gemini was a strange, in a strange way, like our wedding, because we've never had a conventional wedding, yeah. even though we've been married for 10 years in a spiritual sense. Yeah. Um, it was the first time we'd ever had an event where both of our families came together. But we all tried to, you know... We, it was only a, 
a few weeks after you passed, so it was yeah, like we, we were can't in a bit quite of a remember, dream. can we? And yeah, we tried. Family we saw came some from pictures all over the world. from that time, didn't yeah. we? And we can't quite remember. It was such a blur. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's uh. And a lot, all these plants have been planted by family over the last yeah. uh, four years. Yeah, and this is bit, such yeah. a beautiful place for us to come and just yeah. be in this amazing mm. vibration with with Gemini and yeah. Um, yeah, it's become a garden and a sanctuary yeah. for us, hasn't it? Yeah, thanks to the so beautiful lucky. beings who hold this land. Yeah. They're incredible beings. And beautiful friends. We owe them so much for the, the power of our grieving yeah. here in this earth and to have his body in a beautiful place. We buried our Gemini in a, a willow basket that was woven yeah. and he was surrounded by herbs. The only thing he had on was a, a hemp hat. Um, a hemp crown that was uh, crocheted by our beautiful friend Hazel mm -hmm. and she sent it to us before she ever knew Gemma had passed so it just felt right that he would wear that was the only thing he was wearing was his hemp crown and surrounded by herbs who really felt mm. like it, his vessel could become back part of the earth and to nourish mm. all of the plants and the insects and the creatures um, mm. and the tree that stands above him the beautiful Rowan and um, it ripples out into the earth yeah. doesn't it and we're, we're also in front of incredible forest, young forest of hazel as well, yeah. which was lovely. And Gemma so, had a beautiful connection it? with hazel. It did, yeah. Yeah, so uh, whenever he saw hazel, which wasn't many times, he would just beam at her, wouldn't he, with yeah. this massive smile. And hazel was a little freaked out, like, yeah. why is he staring at me like yeah. that? Because he really felt connected to he hazel. He saw her in, he, in yeah. his final weeks, didn't he? And now he's surrounded by hazels with yeah. a, his hemp crown. Yeah. And, um, Happy boy. Yeah. And I had a vision when we was came here not long after we'd passed, and this, I was so sad at the time, sat here sobbing. Mm. But I had a vision of watching a young child running through the hazel trees here, mm. a little toddler. And today I was just so taken aback to be sat here and to witness that in mm. reality, Zaya running through here, mm. playing, giggling, happy. Mm. And I just feel so grateful to be at this point now mm. where it feels like a really happy place. <laughs> if you have any questions about the song do feel free to ask us mm. in the comments down below and uh, thank you so much for joining us on our grassroots today <laughs> and sharing this special day with us mm. and um, yes uh, thank you again to our amazing patrons for making the videos possible yeah. and if you enjoyed our song feel free to donate via the link below and we'll see you next time Bye. see you soon guys <laughs>